In this video, we're gonna be using Bear Stern Man, frankly, my pair, and the Mercur Future Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. And in addition to using the things we mentioned before, today we're gonna to complete the Why Do I Wet Shave, or I'm gonna call it Why Do I Traditional Shave um, tag that was uh, sent to me by Jack from the Virtual Groom Room. We'll talk about why I traditional shave. Very interesting topic, so thank you, Jack, for the tag. Okay, first, let's get to the soap. This is Barrister and Man, frankly, my pair. The cost on it, $17.99 for four ounces or a fair price of $4.49 an ounce on our cost chart. I think I got this at the, the Razor Company. The scent on this will show you the notes right there. Really nice scent. I would call it on the low end of medium in scent strength, there is your pour. It's quite soft. It's a really nice um, pear type scent. It's not too sweet. It's not too subtle. It's just really nice right there in, a, in the middle. A very easy going pear scent. And there's some other things going on too with it. But to me, it's just very nice. And I like it a lot. We'll show you the ingredients right there. I'm not sure what, what base this is because Bear Stern Man, they put these little squiggly symbols on there and I don't know what they translate to but it will be good because you know Barrister Man soaps are always good and so we look forward to using that today. Also we're going to be using the Mercur Futur or Future. Um, the the F-U-T-R the way it's spelled roughly translates to future anyway so it's just easier for me to call it future. Anyway this is an adjustable uh, razor. We'll start out on three two-piece. Here's I'll take the top off for you there. So you can see what it looks like. Lay the blade on top. The blade is the Persona 74. This is shave 11 on this blade, which again, for you new folks, that's abnormal. Normally I use three shaves and out with a DE blade, but this one is a vintage blade and it's quite special. And this was a gift from Jimmy uh, from NYC Wet Shaving. So thank you, Jimmy. Another thing I wanted to mention, I just used some of the Sterling coffee. Uh, they sent me a sample in my uh, last order and man, it's good stuff. I drank a cup. And it just smells so great. So if you haven't tried Sterling coffee, give it a shot. It's good stuff. I'm really enjoying it. And I have one right here in my uh, BBS Live uh, mug. This one I made Irish style. So that's going to be extra good. But the Sterling coffee, A-okay. Mm. All right, that's good. Let's get into it today. This might go a little bit long because we're going to be having a chat about why we traditional shave. And I like to call it traditional shaving. Because sometimes people don't, if you say wet shaving, they think you're just shaving with your gel and whatnot um, with a cart razor. And by the way, that spot there, yesterday I was doing some brush work outside and when I came in, I had that spot. So I don't know if something hit me in the face or I got bit or stung or what, but it made a <laughs> big mark, whatever it was. I don't remember feeling it and I have one right there too, so I don't know what happened there, but something clearly did. But anyway, we won't worry about it. We'll just press on. Um, man, this stuff smells great. The brush, by the way, is the Lancaster uh, Razor Works. Same folks who make the uh, towel there, or same person, I should say, because Andre does that work. Great guy. Looking forward to their next drop. Anyway, so why do I traditional shave? And thank you again, Jack, for the tag. For me, there are a number of reasons. One, the first reason was results because the result I get from this relative to the way I used to shave, which was before I came to traditional shaving, say 10 years ago or whatever it is now, I was using a an electric razor, a uh, brawn. It wasn't very good. Uh, boy, my neck was always torn up and red and it didn't shave close. So somehow I discovered traditional shaving and I saw like Geo Fat Boy and Mantic 59's videos, which is really what is, uh, inspired me eventually to make videos myself. But I saw that and I thought, anything's got to be better than uh, the way I'm shaving now because I would be torn up. I, it was an absolute uh, mess. And so uh, I started traditional shaving and the results after a couple of weeks were much better right out of the gate. And thank you, Jimmy, by the way, for this razor. Very, very nice. Again, Merker. Future, future, however you want to say it, it's up to you. I'm going to try not to open that spot up right there, but we shall make no guarantees. Anyway, so reason number one for me is no question, it is results, because I just simply get a better shave. 
using the traditional system, and that is generally three passes, progressive beard reduction. And I was thinking about, you know, the reasons and putting a list together. And number two now would be for me, not in, a, not in order, but just the second thing that came to mind was scents. I love these scents. And I love the ability to experience these scents every single day. And that's another thing that traditional sh style shaving brings because you buy generally traditional soaps and or creams and there are a huge variety. And so you get the chance to experience all these terrific scents. And a lot of the soap makers make uh, inspired scents or dupes from high-end fragrances. And it opens you up to another world of fragrance. And it is most pleasant. Like today with this uh, Barrister Men, frankly, my pair, I'm loving this scent. It's just pleasant that aromatherapy I don't think can be understated, um, the effects of that and how, how good it makes you feel, or at least it does for me. So the scents were very important to me. And that's another reason I traditional shave. I just love that experience and having, a, for me, a different experience every day. Um, so I know a lot of people like to use the same things, you know, over and over and over. I'm more of a variety person. I like to experience different scents and, and see what's out there, you know. And just really enjoy it. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to enjoy the hobby, but I, I like to, to try a lot of different things. And this, frankly, my pair is one of those things that I'm really enjoying. Excuse me while I have a bit of coffee. Again, don't forget to check out uh, BBS Live upcoming this Thursday night. Oh man, that's good. Mel and Nate, great guys. And sorry for squirreling off there, but it didn't seem appropriate to be drinking out of the BBS Live mug without a without a plug there. Anyhow, um, the next thing, and this might actually be, if I were to do it in order of preference, maybe number one now, or at least close to it, if not, people. The community itself, and the people are just fantastic. I've met so many wonderful people from all over the world, many of which are my good friends now, and I would have never had the chance to cross paths with these people had it not been for traditional shaving. And that, like opening up the world of sense to me, has opened up different cultures. You know, I always ask, where are you from? You know, where are your people from? Um, I like to know about people and sort of come to understand them and learn a little bit about, you know, how things are in their country. And people from all over the world watch these videos from places you would not expect. And you get a chance to interact with those people and the viewers who comment every single day and you develop a rapport and connection with those people. And I wouldn't have that if not for this hobby. And at the same time, I think we've all been some through some rough patches, you know, over the over the years, and I certainly have, even in the you know last few years, had some rough patches and the folks in the community have always been there for me, even when I was standoffish and, and not happy. Um, you know, it wasn't always a bed of roses in terms of my content. But when I decided last year to come back and start making videos in earnest and really re rekindled my love for the hobby, the people were still there. Now, some never came back and I hope someday they will. <laughs> but for the most part, they never left. And the value of that is I can't quantify it. Like it's, it's such a wonderful feeling and wonderful thing. And that's another reason I do it. And oftentimes I think people forget that it's not only about the products. It's the people you meet. It's the conversations that you have. It's, it's, it's just wonderful to have that connection with people that you know you would have never met um, otherwise. Now, granted, there's been... Uh, there's been some dis disappointments along the way. Not everybody you meet in a hobby is going to be what you thought they were. Um, you know, that does happen. I'm going to turn this up a little bit to setting number four there. Um, probably can't see it. There's so much glare on this razor. But anyway, sometimes you're disappointed by people, but that happens in all walks of life. You know, not it's not unique to this hobby. Um, and there have been some disappointments. But that said... 
for every disappointment, there's a hundred good stories and th good things that happen and good interactions with people. And, and for me, that's uh, fantastic. The other thing that comes to mind is just this connection to a traditional way of doing something. Connection to my, you know, my dad, my grandfather, uh, you know, their parents. I can remember my grandfather distinctly using a, uh, I don't know if it was an Old, Old Spice mug, but he would make his lather, presumably with William's mug soap, or there was a, some kind of a soap in the bottom of the mug and you would hear it clacking around with his brush. And I remember that and it, and it's a connection to both those people in that period of time when I was a kid. And that's very pleasurable as well. Another reason is uh, you get to help people. And for me, it's always rewarding when I get one of those comments and someone comes along and they go, hey, you know, you taught me how to shave properly or you helped me learn how to shave properly or you were in some way of service to me. And being of service to people is really a high honor and a privilege. And I've been able to do a lot of that over the years that I've been making con content and bringing people to the hobby and, and telling and having people having told me, you're the reason I came to the hobby. I mean, that's an awesome feeling because then you know you're responsible for them experiencing all the things and having the love that you have for the hobby. And that's a tremendous honor. It is for me. Excuse me, man, that's good. And so it's just, it's all these things. It's not just the act of shaving. And I love shaving. I mean, I can't wait to get in here every day. But it's also the subsequent interaction with people. It's just, honestly, everything about it. Getting the gear, the excitement you get when you get a new piece of gear and it works great for you. Um, it's, you know, after you get a great shave and you're feeling good. You know, some mornings you might be dragging a little bit and you get that shave in and you're feeling great. I mean, there's so many reasons why I really shave this way and not only shave this way but evangelize for this hobby because if you recall the first name I ever went by was traditional shaving evangelist because i wanted to spread the word to other people and that has always been a a goal of mine and obviously you can spread the word to more people if your channel grows and i've been fortunate enough to even though i've made mistakes and you know again we've had rough patches i never uh hide from that <laughs> where you know, it wasn't all that much fun. And the content wasn't very good as a result. But I've still been able to reach lots and lots of people. And that to me is extremely rewarding. And I don't think you can, uh, it's hard to express how that makes you feel as someone who has a hand in opening doors for people. You know, if I've been of some help to you, then I'm very pleased. Always, because that's just a good feeling. And and this, it just gives you something that when everything else is going south, could be relationships, it could be who knows what, maybe you're having a rough time at work, you could still do this. And it's there for you. And the people, by and large, are there for you too. And for me, I don't know why I'm going in the wrong direction, because I'm yapping, but for me, it's incredibly valuable. And I've had people help me throughout the years. There's some people that I owe a lot to and I haven't forgotten those people and I'll never forget them. And um, it's just, it, it means a lot to be cared about also that there, there's been rough times where people have stepped in and really helped me. And it really, it's humbling to know that people just care about you based on the common interest and in you develop these great friendships. And uh, honestly, I just love doing it. And I love the people who I have uh, met doing it. And it, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that's, for me, it's been a transformative experience 
in my life. I've been, I've been, uh, doors have been opened to things and people and cultures and that likely would have never been open otherwise. Um, and that is extremely, extremely valuable to have that experience of having relationships with folks all over the world. And let me go ahead and do my tags. And today I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in front of Marion and, and show some European love. Cause you know, Marion's gonna tag these people if I don't. Um, I'm gonna tag John Shaves 101 because I'd love to know why he, I'm calling it traditional shaving, Jack called it wet shaving. And again, I make that distinction because sometimes when you say wet shave, people just think you're using water like with the gel, you know, edge gel and Mach 3 or whatever. And they don't know it means this traditional style. So um, love to hear what John has to say about it. Also, I'm gonna tag um, Johan Solo from Shaven Butch Butcher, excuse me. I'm, how can you botch that name? Shaven Butcher, how can you botch that? I, I have a I have a rare talent of being able to botch words. I have great personal pride in my ability to botch words. Just like I botched the Futur. I looked at I actually looked that up, and depending on whether you use the French or German, it sounds a little bit different. But there's a this is a German razor, by the way. Alright. Excellent job there. Anyway, Johan from Shave and Butcher, your tag, because I saw him comment on uh, Jack's video and he seemed to like the concept. So we'll we'll give him an easy tag. All right, that was an excellent shave. We're going to have a little bit of Irish coffee here, the Sterling coffee, and then we'll be right back with the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, applied our alum, no stinging. That Persona 74 blade is still going strong. Followed that with the cold water rinse toweled off with our Lancaster towel, and then use the magic made by Witches Thayers, which has a one more tag I'm throwing in. Maddie Lindholm. Maddie Lindholm, why do you traditional shave? Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say too. And again, I'm beating Marion to the punch on that one. The Merker, future, future, however you want to say it. Great razor, aggressive, hefty, uh, but not a bad razor at all. Uh, this particular one in Chrome is, runs around $72. The matte finish is 62. I have links for all the products below. Today we use the Frankly My Pear from Bear Stern Man. Nice, easy going pear scent. I enjoyed it very much. It's a keeper for me. We used our Lancaster Razor Works brush, which I love. Captain's Choice Bowl. We had a little bit of Sterling Coffee, which is awesome. I'm gonna close it out today with the Pear Berry from Sterling. I have that soap, I haven't used it yet, but I figured I would pair the splash with the Bear Stern Man Frankly My Pear today. And we will be off and having a great day. And, and quite frankly, that's one of the reasons I traditional shave as well. It sets my day off on a positive note every single day. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for spending this time with me. You're also a reason I do it. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.